When the sky breaks apart. Now here, these ayat, this depicting the condition of that asa, are limited in number. Four. There we had so many. But here, very brief. Is a sama un fatarat when the heaven will be split asunder. And when the stars fall scattering. And when the stars will be fallen and scattered. And when the seas are erupted. And when the seas and oceans are flowed out and dried up. And when the contents of graves are scattered. And when the graves will be overturned. A soul will then know what it has put forth and kept back. O mankind, what has deceived you concerning your Lord, the generous? This is the third place in the Quran, then this concept is discussed. O oh man, what has seduced you regarding your Lord, the gracious? This is a very effective and very dangerous, you know, a attack of Satan. Satan. He says, okay, go on doing what you are doing. Allah is forgiving. Allah is merciful. Don't worry. Go on. Continue. So what he is saying is true. Allah is merciful. No doubt. But Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has told us He is very strict in, in punishment also. Both things have to be kept side by side simultaneously. And there should be a balance. Ban al khawf wa raja. Otherwise, you will go to this way or that way. You will leave the straight path. It is necessary. That you can, you should have hope. Allah will do try as best as you can, and then hope that Allah Subhanahu Wa Taala, whatever the shortcoming, Allah Subhanahu Wa Taala will forgive. But also keep the fear, maybe, that Allah Subhanahu Wa Taala punishes him for that. So Satan would say, "Go, go, do harm." He, Allah is forgiving. Allah is merciful. Ya yu al insan ma gharra ka bi al kareem. What has beguiled or seduced you concerning your gracious Lord? Who created you, proportioned you, and balanced you. Who created you, then fashioned you, then proportioned you rightly. In whatever form he willed, has he assembled you? Into whatever form he willed, he composed you. Whatever features he wanted, he gave you. So, he has done all these things for testing you. And what is the use of testing? If all are going to be forgiven, what's the use? This is all exercise in futility. No. No, but you deny the recompense. If you are thinking in that way, actually you are belying the reward. 
مالک یوم الدین ہی از دی اتھارٹی فٹ آن دی ڈے آف ججمنٹ دا ججمنٹ وٹ دی یوز آف ججمنٹ اف دیر از فرگیونس فار ایوری بڈی دین وٹ دس ججمنٹ فار اینڈ وٹ دس ٹرائل اینڈ وٹ دس ٹیسٹ ایوری تھنگ بیکمس ایبسولیوٹلی میننگ لیس گلا بل تو کس زبون اب دین بٹ یو آر بی لائنگ دی ریوارڈ And indeed, appointed over you are keepers. وَإِنَّ عَلَيْكُمْ لَحَافِزِينَ Although we have put over you appointed guardians. رَامًا كَاتِبِينَ Noble and recording. كِرَامًا كَاتِبِينَ Surely over you are appointed guardians who are noble writers. You are two of them. They are writing everything, recording everything, every deed of yours, every action of yours, every word you utter being recorded. They are Aman Kathir. But for them, if no reward is to be given, if no punishment is to be given, then why this? يَعْلَمُونَ مَا تَفْعَلُونَ They know whatever you do. Indeed, the righteous will be in pleasure. Surely, people will be divided on that day. The pious shall be in bliss. Who fulfilled their covenant with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, their creator and their master. They will be in bliss, in blessings. And indeed, the wicked will be in hellfire. And surely, the miscreants, the transgressors, the, those who are disobedient to their Lord, they will be in the hell. يَصْلَوْنَهَا يَوْمَ الدِّينَ They will enter to burn therein on the day of recompense. يَصْلَوْنَهَا يَوْمَ الدِّينَ And they will enter it on the day of judgment. This is the يَوْمُ الدِّينَ Which we say in Surah Al-Fatiha, مَالِكِ يَوْمِ الدِّينَ وَمَا هُمْ عَنْهَا بِغَائِبِينَ And never therefrom will they be absent. And once entered it, they will not be absent from it. They will have no place to run, no place to hide, no place to have any refuge. And what can make you know what is the day of recompense? And what will make you realize? How can you imagine what this day of judgment is? Then what can make you know what is the day of recompense? Again, how can you visualize how you can understand What this day of judgment would be, how grave, how hard. That day. It is the day when a soul will not possess for another soul power to do a thing. And the command, that day, is entirely with Allah. The day when no, se- no soul should be helpful for another soul. Nobody will be helped to, to help either his father or mother or son or daughter or wife or husband. No, nothing. No soul will have any power to be helpful for the another soul. And 
and the authority and command that they will be exclusively in the hands of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Just as we have read before, it will be shouted, called, لِمَنِ الْمُلْكُ الْيَوْمِ لِلَّهِ الْوَاحِدِ الْقَحَّارِ To whom belongs the sovereignty today? In the world you said you are sovereign. But to whom belongs the sovereignty today? لِلَّهِ الْوَاحِدِ الْقَحَّارِ Sovereignty today belongs to only Allah who is alone. Al-Wahid, Al-Qahar.